Welcome to Worm Hunter. Welcome to Worm Hunter. We're doing another Ludum Dale game, y'all. Hey, I dare you to play a game where you ah. get, get eaten by giant sandworms. Okay, there you go. That is the most penis-y enemy I think I've ever seen, and I played Edward Penis Hands the game. There is a movie of Edward Penis Hands. Yeah, that's the, otherwise my reference would make no sense. It's uh, not very good, even for a porn parody. <laughs> even for a porn parody. That's how, that's how you know it's pure gold. Oh! Oh God! Yeah! That's, that looks like a that looks a lot like a big ruptured penis. It really does. Well, everyone, that was worm. Yeah. <laughs> like, is there I more? Just I just placed a button, a uh, beacon. That will really distract the worm. Cause he, as long as you walk with a rhythm, you won't attract the worm. So, as uh, shared by my brilliant friend Slim Shady. Or Bat Boy Slim, whoever. I don't know. I don't even know anymore. I'm not sure other than hacking a penis. There you go. You got an up. Got all eaten. Eaten centered? I don't know. Yeah, uh, this game seems pretty basic. Yeah, it's got nice, nice little graphics. Yeah. If you notice, you're also playing as a non white protagonist. That's right. Well, only black people fight giant penises. Yeah, unless you're in Dune, in which case only the oh, white Oh man, person. my giant penis is in the way. <laughs> I guess they're used to it. It's a pink penis though, so maybe you're fighting the white man. Yeah, penis. I'm fighting the white man, yo. This, this is like this is like some black exploit. This is a black exploitation film. Basically, uh, the controller doesn't work 100. percent That's just probably because of our weird setup we have going. Yeah, it's, the, well, it's not designed for controller. We're basically using the controller to play the video game known as... Oh, okay. oh that's just upsetting. It's just really upsetting. Here, let me try it. Okay, you can try Alright, so... so. There you go. Do a beacon, that would attack the bomb. Oh, you can see him coming. I thought yeah. that was like a cloud or something. No, no, you can see where he is. The beacons don't really work 100%. No. So, which makes them... Considering you can make them appear and then get out of the way pretty easily, Makes them kind of pointless. So after this, we're gonna play another Ludum Dare game. We'll make this two, uh, two games in one for the price. Two games for the price of none. Two games for the price of six hundred. Free, free games in one, in one cartridge. I don't, I don't know how to end. Hi. We're done with the penises. Now we're going to play a little game. We're going to play a little game about these little scouts. This is another Little Dare game. With E to interact and Z ZW to, to pick up objects. Let's press play and see what happens. This doesn't look creepy at all. <laughs> this game's called the uh, Damn Scouts, I believe. Okay. I think you control the facade. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, so far I like this. Alright, so it's... Oh, bear trap. Oh, I see, so you're trying to kill all the scouts. That seems fair. So, E to interact with objects, ZW to pick things up. So, see if you can pick up that bear trap. Bees. Bees look like they'll kill us. Let's jump into the bees. Can you jump? By pressing up? No, no. Nope. Mm. Is that right. W? Pick up the mushroom? No, I can't pick it up, but I can interact with it, probably eat it. Mm. Yeah, uh, eat the fish. What? Oh, I pressed restart. Oh, okay. Mm. Don't do that. Alright, I will not do that again. Okay, well, we have to walk into the file. No? Okay. Mm, I'm not gonna do anything. Ooh, gasoline. Aha! Uh -huh. Is that up? Z. Z. O W. There you go. Yeah. Mm. All right, that was fun. All right. Let's, Let's go to the cave. cave. Yay! Can you interact with it? No. Okay, so this is marks the end of it. But maybe I can get something to come out of it. Maybe. Hmm. So this is a, I'm gonna hit the bell trap again, I think. Oh, yep. Ooh, it's probably a cute little ghost. This is pretty cute. Can you pick up the bell trap? I like that they just do not stop singing. No, you can't. 
Hmm. Ah, mm. snake. There's, there's a snake there. It's basically just a like find a hidden object puzzle game, basically. Sort of, except there seems like there must be maybe there's stuff that you can interact with and and do and solve puzzles, maybe. You had a little bit of that with the file. You had to pick up the file and drop it in the, pick up the gasoline, pick it in the file. I think there's only probably something to do there. See, so now I can interact with this and probably eat it. Can you interact with it? No, I should be able to do something with it. I can't see that nothing. Nothing seems to that seems to do anything. Hmm. Without getting items here. Good fish. Oh, bring it to the cave. Maybe there's a bear in there. Yeah, that would make sense, wouldn't it? And if it's the kind of game design that people like to do, we'll walk to one end of the screen and walk all the way back to the other end. It's yeah. the thing people like to do for some reason. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. It is just like a time sink, isn't it? Yeah. I, I kind of like... I'm kind of digging this so far, though. Mm-hmm. I, I think I could You could play... make a whole game out of this mechanic, I think. Yeah, it, you could make a really thick, good, good thing out of this. Oh, are you floating now? Yeah, for some reason you can float here when you just hit the... Oh, it's because you get a little bit of air time. And yeah. then, then you press E, you just in the air when you're doing that. That's fun. It's not meant to be there, but it's fun nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's find this fork. He's on the... Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and the fork is still there, so you can probably still use it. Yeah, yeah, I can see why. I wonder if there's anything I can do here. I wonder if you can, like, possess it of other skeletons, maybe? Can you dig up or something, maybe, as a skeleton? I don't know. I don't know. think so. It doesn't look like it. It feels like there's something that should happen with that rain. I wonder if I can, like, jump down here and run into the bees. See, the bees seem like something that I should be using. Mm-hmm. There you, there you go. go. Can, I get, can I scare the bees? Make them come with me? Come with me. I am the bee lord. I'm gonna be your boss now. You find me, I'm gonna be in charge. That's my, uh, you once again bringing a little gambit to the action. <laughs> Maybe they decided to add challenge at the last second, and then they were like, uh, but what's the challenge? Uh, maybe you just can't complete the game? Yeah, that's the Ludendale type challenge, right? Yeah, that's... Alright, one more look, and then that should be it. But you, you know what? If we can't figure it out, maybe you, the viewer, can by going to... Uh, basically check out uh, Ectone Game or Ghost in the Soft. Uh, created by the Lama team, apparently. I'm not just reading credits. This is information I've memorized. This is on Ludum Deo 29, which is the last one. By the time this comes out, there might have been another one. I'm not sure. But Ludum Dare games, they're small, but they can be a lot of fun. Yeah. You might give a little army of skeletons. Uh, just curious what happens if I move these guys in a long, long ways. Maybe move them all to the, your boss skeleton. Let's just see what happens if we keep going this way. Well, because there's nothing over here, but there's a boss skeleton on the outside. Maybe he does something. Maybe the, maybe the bees are scared of... Skellingtons? Skellingtons, yeah. Mm. 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 Next time on Super Serious Brothers, you'll find out what happens with Skellingtons. Bone your mother, don't bone your mother, because that's a sin.